Hey, Pisces. This is you versus them. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Guys, this reading is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. Um, I wish it could, but it's not. If you like the video, please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, you can email me or you can visit the website, Pink Area and Gem. And um, there's a selection there for you guys to choose from. All right, guys, here we go. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on for Pisces? Pisces. All right. Ooh, I like it. No matter where this card falls, and some readers read it in the reverse, but no matter how or where it falls, this is always the bomb card, okay? This is happiness at its finest. This is enlightenment. This is awakening. This is knowing who you are, knowing what you want out of life. Leo energy there. Okay. Oh, yeah. You are standing strong. Somebody's standing real strong here. Um, feeling empowered. Feeling very empowered. Two of Wands there. Leo Aries energy. Maybe some Aquarius in their chart. Here. Huh. And I feel like, you know, whether this is you or the other person, because the energy can go vice versa, I'm going to run another line down here, but this is somebody that knows, this is a five of swords over here on this side, they're not with this five of swords crap, they've got their back turned to it. That is a path that they've chosen. You know, whether they love this person or not, they're, they're just not with that. That fighting, that argument, that arguing, trying to get, you know, get one up on somebody, any of that. But there's somebody that you feel or they feel like they need to turn their back on someone else that is like, you know, I want to win. I'm going to block you first or, you know, just, just doing things that, that are just not good. Not in, not in a good, you know, spirit or behavior. Yeah. You're just trying to build, you, you're trying to get your coins together. Um, and you know, you just want to be happy. You just want to be happy. This person is also a workaholic. I get that strongly. Like money is what makes them happy. That's Virgo energy. Money is what makes them happy. And I think the fact that you've turned your back and you're not willing to devote any more energy to arguing and things that, you know, are are minute is like, you know, they don't know what to do with themselves here. Because you're not with you're not with this three of swords energy anymore. It's like you know what I'm not gonna let you phase me. I'm not gonna let anything that is negative come into my life and influence it in a way where I'm not standing as an emperor in my power. Wow. You've got somebody wanting to start with you. Somebody that's very attracted to you. Very attracted to you. And they're waiting on you with that four of swords there. They're waiting on you to make it right. I don't see you going towards them. They know that they were wrong. They know what they did. But I get the feeling that you were the one to always make it right before. Very fiery energy. Very fiery energy here. Mm-hmm. 
you know, I, I get the feeling that, you know, this was a relationship that had a lot of quarrels. And I don't really see that there was any cheating going on. Um, because I don't see this as a mistress card. I really don't. I actually see counterparts here. I see this person starting a new business, working really, really hard at that business, you know, and just trying to heal themselves. They're also waiting on you or you them, waiting on them to come and make a move and restart this thing, start over again. Um, I don't see either one of you making a move here. I don't see either one of you making a move here because there were lots of arguments that's keeping you guys from really connecting with each other on that level. That's what I see here for the 9th through the 16th. You guys are kind of living your own separate lives here. And... Um, I think you're both very attracted to each other, for sure. Very attracted to each other. All right, guys, so that's what I see for December 9th through the 16th, and I'll speak with you soon.